Namaskar my dear students how are you doing I welcome you all for today's lecture on examination of completely edentulous patient we will cover this topic under three parts this is the part 1 of the lecture in which we will be covering the physical examination so let's proceed we will discuss this topic of examination under the following headings the physical examination intraoral examination treatment planning and prognosis examination of the existing dentures and the radiographs so as this topic is long and very important also so we will cover the physical examination in the this part and rest all in the next parts physical examination this topic is very important for chair side viva for both undergraduate and postgraduate students number of mcqs are also framed from this topic picture based mcqs are also framed from this part we will discuss the face form face profile complexion lips wrinkles muscle tone and temporomandibular joint examination you should know how to record these things for the patient on your chair face form we record the face form of the patient by looking from the front stand in front of the patient then you record the face form face form can be ovoid square tapering or any combination of these if you look at the picture we see the square face form in this pictorial image the bizygomatic width is equal to the biangular width of the mandible similarly we analyze for the patient as we see in the second picture now see the first picture the face form is tapering in this the biangular width is less than the bizygomatic width can you find out the male uh, the male patient is having which face form yes tapering below we have the pictorial image of ovoid face form it is circular in appearance with the prominence of the curves as we can see in the female patient she is also having the ovoid face form now the question arises why we need to see the face form the examiner asks you the significance of face form so the tooth forms which is selected for the teeth it corresponds to the face form williams rule is often asked during your chair side viva he devised the law of harmony it suggested that the tooth form will be the inverse of the facial form as we can see in the picture facial profile how we see the facial profile that is the first question examiner will ask you we see the facial profile from the side of the patient facial profile is assessed by a line joining the three reference points as we can see in the image first is the glabella that is marked as a in the image second point is the soft tissue point a that is the deepest point in the curvature of upper lip which is marked as b in the image and the third point is pogonian that is the interior most point on the chin which is marked as c in the image facial profile as classified by angle class 1 straight facial profile as we can see in the first image above we have the pictorial image and below we have some patient's pictures also so that you can just apply it clinically class 2 is the convex facial profile where the soft tissue point a is ahead of the pogonian it is also termed as retrognathic retro means backward lower jaw class 3 it is the concave facial profile or prognathic or forward mandible as we can see in the pictures with their corresponding clinical picture i hope now you will not make any mistake in noting down the facial form and the profile of the patient 
facial profile has also significance for the teeth selection labial contour and the inclination of interior teeth parallels to the profile line of the face this we can see in the picture the facial profile and the corresponding tooth form complexion complexion of the face may be fair medium and dark most of the patients have medium complexion color of the hair can be black mixed and gray mixed being very common color of the eyes can be classified as black gray or blue this all information provide us a useful guide in artificial teeth shade selection the color shade of the artificial teeth should be in harmony with the complexion just imagine if you place a dark shade teeth for a fair complexion person or vice versa lips lips are very important part to be observed three things we have to note lip thickness lip length and lip activeness lip thickness it can be thin or thick it affects the lip support you know what is lip support the condition in which the upper teeth hold the upper lip up and forward so it is influenced by the placement of interior teeth now there is another term lip fullness this is influenced by the thickness of the labial flanges examiner may ask you the difference between these two terms lip support and lip fullness so i hope it's clear now second is the lip length you know the normal lip length ranges from 18 to 22 mm with around 20 to 23 mm in males and 18 to 20 mm in females that means males have a higher lip length okay how this lip length is measured the average lip length at rest is measured from subnasal to the most inferior portion of the upper lip at the midline you can see in the picture it can be short medium and long short is less than 16 mm medium 16 to 24 mm and long more than 25 mm short lip allows more display of the denture base so the teeth selection and the denture characterization should be considered to give good aesthetics then comes the lip lip activeness it can be active or flaccid this can be noted while the patient is speaking active lip uh, challenges the denture retention especially while speaking wrinkles we see wrinkles on old faces yes now the wrinkles can be present due to two reasons we need to find the cause whether the wrinkles are due to aging or due to the loss of vertical dimension in the absence of the teeth if the wrinkles are due to aging they are normal as the age increases the skin becomes less elastic and more fragile they are not to be eliminated but some wrinkles appear due to the loss of vertical dimension at occlusion mainly due to the absence of the teeth they are to be eliminated by the prosthetic rehabilitation by restoring the vertical dimension lip and cheek fullness and also the lip support muscle tone how house classified the muscle tonicity into three classes class 1 normal class 2 near normal and class 3 subnormal with normal muscle tonicity we mean that there are no degenerative changes there is normal muscle tension tone and placement of the muscles of mastication class 1 normal muscle is mainly found in the immediate denture patients where the patient is still partially edentulous or young patients with partial anodontia 
these can be good cases for the overdenture these patients have normal musculature this was one of the mcq which was asked in the neat exam that class 1 muscle tone is present in which patients i hope it's clear now class 2 muscle tone is near normal muscle tone there is normal function but slightly impaired muscle tonicity tactile sense is preserved by wearing the dentures so patients who are with efficient dentures good dentures and they are regularly using it belong to this class in class 3 that is the subnormal muscle tone there is greatly impaired muscle tonicity and function both this is usually coupled with the poor health inefficient dentures decreased vertical dimension decreased biting forces wrinkles and dropping commissures you will find this in very old patients temporomandibular joint examination tmj examination few important points to remember for tmj examination are first any pain or tenderness in the tmj area should be noted if the collapsed bite that is the reduced vertical dimension at occlusion vdo is the reason then the dentures may help symptomatic pain relief and muscle relaxants should be given along with second is limited or painful mandibular movements these should be checked because they will hinder right from the impression making to recording the jaw relations third deviation of the mandible on mouth opening should also be checked now how to proceed for it fingertips are placed over the lateral aspect of both the joint areas simultaneously then the digital palpation of the joints is done at rest and during all the mandibular movements smooth mandibular movements are very important for recording the jaw relations especially if a post graduate student is planning for gothic tracing thank you dear all hope you will be benefited by this lecture please like and share the video uh, then uh, you can also mention your own topics in the comment section or at dr shweta prastho at the rate gmail.com i will try to cover them in my next lecture take care wish you success